Oh man, we're back to this. Dude, I was warning you guys. <laughs> okay, let me update what's going on. I know. We finished this game and I say we're never coming back. So why are we here, right? <laughs> guys, I swear to you, I don't like this game. But I told you, we're going in hot or not at all. We're going for broke. When I said we're playing the entire Resident Evil series, I wasn't kidding. I made a discovery recently. I figured out a way to add DLC to the emulation. Which means we're not done. We're not finished. We're almost done. So this will be the DLC for Operation Raccoon City. I don't know how these guys were able to afford DLC or this game lasted long enough. But there is. More cameos, more easter eggs, more lore, more story. And more importantly, since Joe hacked the system and figured out a way for the game not to freeze, this should go smoothly, right? What's the worst that can happen? So let's check this out. Yeah, this is super hype too. Then after this, one more Cheeks RE Resident game and... Evil. And we're good to go. I still have to have the, the resolution low though at like 480. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It'll, it still looks fine. It's it's playable. Yo Loon, what's up? Oh no, more Cheek City. Don't worry, we're getting it done. Alright, so the DLC. Well, first I want to show you guys something really funny here. Uh free play offline here's the expansion so we first we played as the bad guys umbrella security service we played our boy specter or what was his name specter i don't remember so let me show you guys this first i have to show you this because this is so funny okay so since we have the dlc we have the costumes unlocked all right check this out you guys ready for this? Check the DLC costume for Vector. I call him Spectre. Ve uh, Vector. You guys ready for this? Here it comes. Guess what his costume is? Some of you guys are going to be like, oh, it's got to be Hunk, right? Hunk's got to be in this game. Here it is. <laughs> it's a recolor. It's a recolor. Look. They're all recolor skins. Holy cow, dude. It's Apex Legends, man. Mind you, I'm sure these aren't expensive, but my god. It's so cool. Yep. Yeah, that would be $6 and no bundle, Splash. More importantly, no bundle at all. Apologize. Yeah, super cool. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you guys for this. Are you sure you want to leave? Very sure. All right, so this is the DLC. We play as the government special ops, Echo 6. A new squad, a new cast of characters, and continued Kino. So there's two DLC expansions to this game that are three missions each for a total of six. So let's check out, let's check this out. But they all go in order. It's just like one to six. They just, I don't know. I don't know if they even released it all at once, but here, I'm just glad it works. So check out this squad, Eye of the Storm, Streets of Raccoon City. No one knows what happened to Raccoon City. It just went quiet. The few reports collected are nonsensical at best. To discover the truth, the government has sent a team of special operatives known as Echo Six. So we're playing as the good guys now. So I think that's pretty cool. Still not canon though. Yo, how's the volume guys? Is it too loud? I think it's because I, I defaulted the settings. Hold on one second. Guys, now that we know it doesn't freeze, should we up the difficulty? Maybe go from casual to normal? What do you guys say? Let's do it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah, crank it up. I mean, the bosses were bullet sponges on casual, so at least I won't be running through armies of like zombies. Whoa, look at this squad. So cool. Wow. 
DJ? No. D A. What? Assault. Crispin D A. Sheddingham has been a soldier for as long as he can remember. He was the government's top choice to be the leader of the Echo 16. Always calm and collected, he is a true soldier and is highly skilled and efficient with his weaponry and his orders. Cool. Party girl! Surveillance. Sienna Party Girl Fowler got her rep reputation throwing wild parties in her youth for businessmen and officials. Little did they know that every party she threw was also recorded with hidden equipment, which would be sold to the highest bidder. The government hired her after she managed to dupe their top surveillance expert at one of her parties. Damn. Willow Recon. Caroline Willow Floyd. Yo! Feeling God, like, thanks so much, man, for the gift sub, bro. I hope you guys are all having an awesome week. Thanks so much for the subs, Loon, and feeling God, like, appreciate it. Developer skill for speed and illusion growing up alone on a reservation in Montana. She joined the army straight out of school, excelling as part of the special forces. Never satisfied with herself, Willow continues to hone her skills each and every day. Harley Medic. A foul-mouthed ex-biker, Ares Harley Morris, joined the service to avoid going to jail. <laughs> Wait, he's probably good guys. Excelling in medicine during an Operation Desert Storm, Harley unexpectedly became one of the best medics in the field. Always putting others' lives before his, he will always do his best to make sure no man is left behind. It's Barry. Shona, field scientist. They're pretty much the same classes. These are just like, you know, the good guy alter egos. Exposed to death at a young age, Lawrence Shona <coughs> Kimbala began treating diseases in his home country of Zimbabwe. After his father's death, he attended Harvard Medical School where he realized he had a skill for controlling viruses instead of carrying them. He joined the Army Special Forces program as our foremost expert in virology. <coughs> Tweed Demolition Marisa Tweed Ronson has a quick tongue and a ready fuse. Originally working for the British Secret Service, she disappeared after a bomb removal operation left her scat scarred. Handpicked by the government, Tweed became part of Echo 6 because of her unparalleled expertise in demolitions. There we go, that's our squad. Who do we like? I like Party Girl already, I'm gonna tell you that much. <clears throat> We pretty much want a character that has, like, stealth, you know? Wait, do these guys all have different abilities? What's her ability? Increases the size of the mini-map on your HUD and automatically reveals enemies within 10 meters? Oh, damn. The upgrade reveals enemies through walls. Item detection, too. She has detective vision. She can see enemies and see loot. Okay, and she has like scanners and stuff, All right? That's party girl recon. Oh, it's it's the same. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the exact same abilities as vector and it's already upgraded to what I had it for vector. Her stealth run is already at level two. This is interesting. So we're probably going to play her. Since she has the same abilities. Journalist vision? Yeah, there it seems like they're all their abilities are just the same as the alter egos. I mean that's cool. Alright, we're going stealth then. Willow. Alright, who's gonna be part of our team? We need party girl in there for sure. Party girl. Uh assault. We pretty much have the same team as last time. So DJ, I mean D A. And um, we want a medic, right? Let's get Harley in there. We need our medic. There's a cool team. Harley, DA, Party Girl. Uh, weapons. We were messing around with the shotguns. To oh, right. Since this is DLC, guys, we have DLC weapons. I don't know if they're OP, though. We got this machine pistol. The damage is not high, but the rate of fire is insane. 
That's DLC. Uh, I don't know what else. Cowboy Shotgun. This has got to be DLC. Perforator. Is this DLC? The Perforator is an appropriate name for this pump action shotgun due to its ability to leave your enemies full of holes. Oh! Grenade Launcher! It's a banger. It's a banger. Classic Launcher it's is a single shot vintage grenade launcher that fires explosive rounds. Guys, it's a Resident Evil homage. We should try out all these guns, I think. Let's start with the SMG, and then we'll eventually get to the grenade launcher. Start the machine pistol. Uh, can I upgrade any of my passes right now? 2,000? Yeah. Um, camouflage is duration. Uh, allows being avoided detected at less than 50%. Do this the oh it's five thousand for that holy shit. Well, let's focus on this one because this one is not going to be good until it's a hundred percent. Oh, I'll upgrade it next time. And oh, we got a DLC pistol. Oh, Matilda, is it triple shot still? Samurai Edge was really strong too, but yeah, let's use the Matilda. Yeah, three round burst. Cool, cool, cool. Yo, what's going on, man? Thanks for all the subs, guys. Sparrow, what's going on? Thanks so much for the 13 months. What's up? We're finishing up the DLC for Operation Raccoon City, and then we're going to play some World Tour tonight, and we're going to chill. And Huevos, thanks so much for the gift sub as well, man. Thanks for all the subs, guys. Loon, feeling good. Sparrow and uh, Huevos, thanks so much. All right, let's get started. And hopefully this doesn't freeze. So the volume's still good, right, guys? It's not too loud now. Ooh, that's a long loading screen. Whoa, that's super loud. My ears. We got an epidemic on our hands, folks. Quarantine the area. City's gone to shit. I've never seen anything like this. All right, deploy the special operatives. There's more than just a common cold going around down there. We need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, we start outside in the city? It's good. I like that. Look at this team. Echo 6, report. <laughs> DA, assault, reporting. Harley, medic, reporting. Party girl, surveillance. Party reporting. girl. Willow, recon, reporting. Command, Echo 6, reporting. That took a while for her to say that. Requesting objective. Report some Raccoon City in the past 36 hours. This is a cool team. Best. No one's sure what to believe anymore. Make contact with local authorities and return an accurate situation report. Get to the Raccoon City Police Department and find out what happened here. Roger that command. Echo 6 moving out. Going dark. I like this team already because like the umbrella bad guy team, all their faces are covered with masks and it's really like edgy and stuff, but this team is cool. Like they're just like this just look like a normal team. You know what I'm saying? Yo Amir, thanks so much for the big 94. It says which Call of Duty game is this? Operation Raccoon City. What's going on, Savi? Yo, Zubby, we were, we were tearing it up with Lily last night, by the way. We were, we were mauling people. It was a hoot. We raised our Lily win rate up. Hmm? So that's edgy to you, huh? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> they were saying like the characters like lost their humanity and they had no feelings and stuff. Okay, hold on. How do I... Uh-oh. How do I aim? Uh-oh. Oh, maybe we can't aim right now. Forgot what my controls were. I just the first playthrough of this game, we just ran through everything. Like we just 
full on ran. That's funny. What the hell happened here? Yeah, the they're like I don't know, they're talking about the, they lost all feeling like because they're, they're they're bad guys, right? So they wanted to make them sound super cool. But these guys look like I don't know. This looks like a team. We have a visual on civilians. They don't look right. Approach civilian to investigate. Oh, now I can shoot. Let's try out this gun, this DLC gun. Whoa! Oh, authorized. You got the license to kill. I don't know, they're not wearing any helmets, not very professional. <laughs> yeah, but this is an elite forest mirror. It's Echo 6. Is it Look guys, it's a monster closet. There's nothing in here. Oh yeah, we can use the human shield. Pick up ammo. Where? What? My guy's already infected. He's the medic. There's another monster closet here. They're not gonna stay elite or a force much longer if they don't wear head protection. Mira, you obviously awesome. don't know Party Girl. And D D A. Oh, you saw his eyeball flying there? Oh shit, doggles! he was infected. Mm -hmm. Yo, Very, what's up, man? Thanks for the huge 66. Thanks for all the subs today, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, shit. I found the, the antiviral spray as he died. That sucks. It's because he wasn't wearing a helmet? Well, yeah, but he, she wouldn't have been able to stomp his head off if he was wearing a helmet too, man. So he could have been more dangerous with a helmet, right? Once your friend is now your enemy. He's fine. Lots of heals, but we haven't taken any deeps. I think my teammate eventually respawns, though, even after he dies. This is pretty cool, though, like out in the city. We need more sections like this. I'm infected! Oh, I have the antiviral spray. There's so many things that knock you down in this game. You should wear chain mail. So, yeah, today, guys, we're chilling. I'm just gonna relax, play some retro for a bit. We're gonna beat this and then we're gonna play some world tour and just grind that out. 
And tomorrow we're gonna, you know, continue our master master rank random select, and hopefully we'll finish that tomorrow night. But don't forget, tomorrow too is the game awards, so we'll be streaming extra early tomorrow. At uh, I believe it starts at 4:30 p.m. PST, and then we can start our usual uh, apologize and see if uh, they show some Ed footage, uh, which is you know very unlikely, but it's a possibility. Help and me open this. what the fuck? That scared me. And they have, remember, big announcements for Street Fighter 6 actually have been at the Game Awards. So that increases the likelihood. But you never know. We'll take some bets. We'll see how it goes. We already know that uh, Guilty Gear is going to have an announcement there for uh, Elfel. Oh, there we go. Harley's back. They're gonna announce the Alpha 3 bundle? Dude, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> so, I don't know. And we'll see if Street Fighter 6 wins uh, fighting game of the year. Roger, Echo 6. If they don't, it would be hilarious. But don't get bogged down. Oh, they got snipers? What's happening? Oh, is that Umbrella? Oh, it is Umbrella! Shit! Oh, I'm lit! Oh! Uh, how do you use nades? We gotta start using- Oh, I think it's R1. Roger, Echo 6. Engage and neutralize, but don't get bogged down. I need a sniper rifle. See, Mir, if you were playing with this with me, you could be the sniper guy. I'd be like, Mir, I need you to take out that rooftop. Now. Let's use our pistol for this. Where the hell where are these bullets going? Oh, you be the demolition guy? Ah! Controlled burst. Guy has so much health. This should be the last. Oh, he's not even a sniper. He just has a SMG. Doesn't like the laser reticle on a gun not supposed to wiggle like that? Why does it act like it has a mind of its own? Why do those things just stay still? I'm not even- I'm just <laughs> standing still. Okay, ammo. More ammo. Oh, there's another sniper! Where? Oh, I need that first aid spray. Can I shoot the spotlights? Wow! Strategy? Wait, where is that light source coming from? What the fuck? Exploring. 
Oh, what the hell? They got a back door, too. No, party girl. Nade. What's this other nade I have? Is this flashbang? He's not even blind! Mir, why do the bad guys have helmets but not the good guys? Shit, I'm out of, I'm out of ammo. card I noticed there's none of those like ammo crates in this in this ex uh, expansion Do they want me to keep switching my weapons or something to so the creepy music What's my medic doing? Why is he walking in the room backwards? What the fuck kind of strategic tactical maneuver is that? This guy is a liability. Look at this guy. This guy's that guy's my Apex teammate. I'm not even kidding. That guy is actually from Apex Legends. Uh, power of the lights. <laughs> the humans operate like zombies. Too. I guess you know people are panicking. It's a, it's a delicate situation. Can he hold his own? <laughs> you have no. You can ask Mir, bro. The amount of times we read the Discord, and when people ask for teammates, they say, "Make sure you can hold your own." Ask Mirror Man. It's like a million. It's like the only thing people care about. Hold your own. Who's gonna admit they can hold? They can't hold their own. Why do I have to go here? Launch the flares from the roof. What flares? Pick up flares. What? Oh, we're sending out a distress. Oh shit, party girl's infected. Wow, that game is like literally directing me exactly where I need to go. It's a pipe. Oh! Oh! By the way, guys, I found out something really stupid. So I fucked up. Hold on, I'll show you guys in a second. I need ammo though. Does this guy have a gun? Oh. Nice. Good bullets. How am I infected? Oh, it's draining me like crazy. Anyways, remember this box? I thought it was for online only, like you can use it. Because the emulator resolution is so low, you have to shoot the locks. Look at this. <laughs> it has a weapon in it. I never knew about this. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, that's right, guys. Puzzle God. All right, let's use those flares. Hold out until reinforcements arrive. I have no health, though. And I can't see. I gotta hold my own.
Oh, there's a spray right here. Oh, I should have saved that for DA. DA is not looking so good. Militia rifle, huh? That's a glitch. No, it's not, is it? No way. It's too big to be an AK, isn't it? Mirror? There's no wooden piece on it, too. On the hilt. This game is so cheeks. I don't know, man. Playing this game would be really fun with a friend. If they remade this game and just made it more modern and had like four player co-op, I think it would be a hoot to, ch to chill in Raccoon City. Oh, Chivos! All right, because I default my settings. I have the I should I forgot to take off the Chivo prompts. Oh, reinforcements because they saw the flares. Wow, look at those guys running gun. They're cycles. Go to the art. Oh, Raccoon City Police Department. Wait, how did I get infected again? Oh no, DA's down. Why is the medic not healing anyone? What the hell's the point of this guy? Yo, who's got an infection right now? Teammates, mount up. Oh God, party girl's lit. <laughs> oh, refill ammo, nice. Okay, what weapons do we have here? Militia rifle. Oh, incendiary grenade. It won't let me grab it though. Is that only only the demolition cl uh, class can grab it? Maybe. Maybe it's a bug. Oh no, Zombos. What does the recon class do? Uh, that's Party Girl. She can see enemies through walls and she can see loot through objects. Maybe I'm the recon, but my thing is I I can move really fast without enemies detecting me. I move faster than other characters, and I have a, a camouflage ability where I can go invisible. I have other there's other abilities too, but these are the ones that I unlocked. Basically, you have like a skill tree in this game for every class. So I'm like stealth, basically. Gears of War vibe? Well, this game came out in 2011, 2012. When did Gears of War come out? It was during that time, you know? It's kind of funny because, like, this is a squad-based shooter. And... Oh! It's Jill! It's Jill! She looks... 
exactly the same. What the fuck? Oh my god, Cameo! <gasps> oh god, we gotta fight Nemesis again? <laughs> what do you mean, what are these shots? Guys, we're getting our money's worth here. Yeah, I was wondering where Jill was in the first campaign. But they saved it for the DLC. Anyways, like I was saying, it's funny we're talking about squad-based shooters and stuff when, like, you know, Capcom is, like, trying hard to push Exo Primal and stuff, and here we are. Like I said, these games can work. I mean, obviously, Resident Evil fans will be pissed, but it just needs that touch of quality, you know? And if you guys see what this game really looks like on the actual resolution we're supposed to play it at 720p, if you look it on YouTube, the graphics are actually not bad. They're okay. Like, this is blurry because we're, you know, we're playing on emulator, but... But, uh... Oh shit, we gotta fight Nemesis again? Oh no, it's Jill! I gotta save her! Jill, run! I'll take care of her from here. He's got Scorpion hook. What is he doing? Oh! He's pulling me closer! What's DA doing? Guys, don't you guys see this giant monster to your side? How does he know where I am? I'm invisible. What? That's an incinerator. Oh, what the? <laughs> what the hell is that fire effect? Oh, shit. The medic is getting messed up. <laughs> you see that? Okay, we need ammo. I gotta revive Harley, he's toast. I can't see shit, I'm infected. I don't even know if I can even kill Nemesis. No! Wait, what? I died though. Where's Jill going? Wait, I revived. What the fuck is happening? I think we gotta run for it. Yeah, I must have got the checkpoint just in time. Okay, hold on, where do I go? This is a dead end. Let's go where Jill went. She went up the scaffolding thingy. Oh 
Why isn't Jill helping us? Oh shit. We have to get out of here before that thing catches up to us. We need a rocket launcher. I got a grenade launcher. refill my ammo ammo full I thought I can hold 10 damn janitors keep incendiary grenades in their uh, janitor closet Spray. We need this shit. Doink. This gang this gang is kinda creepy sometimes. That's Jill guys. She's from That'll only slow it down. We gotta keep moving. Wait, <gasps> no consent! You? Get your Jill hands Valentine. off, Jill. I used to be with stars. Let me guess. That creature is one of Umbrella's creations. Yeah, we're not exactly Umbrella's favorite people. We've been investigating some of their more questionable activities for a while now. Command, are you getting this? She's part of the RPD Special Tactics and Rescue Service. She just said she that. She checks out, but you are not to share your mission objective with her. She doesn't have a tiny head. Out of town. You should do the same. We're here to rescue civilians. Can't leave yet. There are no survivors. <laughs> They're all dead. What? You guys don't look like any rescue. Jill would never seen. say that. Look, I can't stay. But if whoever's holding your leash cares about what happened here, I'd start with City Hall. She's like, it's everyone for themselves. There. But if I were you, I'd get out of Raccoon City while you still can. What the hell? What about Carlito? I'm heading to City Hall. Not my Jill. <laughs> ah! The hell's that sound? Careful, armed troops ahead. <laughs> Who's shooting me? Wait, how are the umbrella soldiers able to stand next to Nemesis? angles do you guys have? Oh no!
Oh, there's soldiers over there. This scenario is cracked. The DLC is pretty action-packed. Oh, there's an infinite crate here. Perfect. Oh, it doesn't refill your grenade rounds. That's bullshit. Precision rifle. Wow. Aim skill. The game doesn't crash anymore? No. Joe cracked the code. There's a setting we needed to change for the game to make it not crash. But I still can't play it in higher resolution. It, it's too, uh, too choppy. But I also figured out how to play the DLC as well, so... It's good. It's alright, the next Resident Evil games we're playing are all on PC, so... Almost home free. Submachine gun. Now what? Where are we going? Downstairs? Do a quick scope? I can't do that on controller. What happened to Nemesis? Nemesis? Where did he go? Did he just bounce? Heavy machine gun. Let's grab that. No, I don't think we killed Nemesis. I think he just, like, disappeared. And Jill ran away, and we're like, hey, we need to, we need to save the survivors, and Jill's like, there are no survivors. I don't know, they made Jill super, like, angry. Got a Gatling gun now. Uh oh. Use explosives on the creature. I already used all my grenade. Well, oh. Oh shit. Here I come. What's happening? Oh shit. Wait. Oh no, DA, watch out behind you. Yeah, your teammates are supposed to cover you. This would be fun to play with a friend. You're like, I got the door. work guys. Yeah, I need to switch weapons. Oh, this thing has too much balloon. Wait, does that ammo give me grenade launch rounds here? It doesn't, that's so bullshit. Oh, nice. That was a good bank shot. Don't walk away from me, coward. Now 
Nemesis is sick of this game, he's leaving. Oh shit, what the hell? He's a marksman? What? What is no intel to report bullshit? Dude, it's, it's uh, Mandarin Orange season, guys. I just grabbed the Mandarin Orange. Oh my god, dude. I love Mandarin Orange. He's like a boost of energy. Where's Nemesis? Oh, he's always there. Wait, is that a sniper? This guy's been shooting us the whole time? How am I gonna hit this guy with the machine gun? Dude, I need another weapon. Oh, bolt action rifle. Where? Oh, there's a sniper rifle right here. What? I'm sure that I hate that shit, man. We got Nemesis! Out of monster and some soldiers, some manners. Copy, Echo 6. Video feeds on those hostiles show them to be Umbrella Security Service. Continue your mission. Go to City Hall and look for intel on the location of Umbrella. That was a facility. long mission. We did it, guys. C for. I don't know. Cheeks. That seemed quick. Well, we didn't just run through the level like a maniac. That level was actually pretty eventful. We saw Jill, tons of action, tons of variety of different weapons to use. That was like one of the better missions. The DLC is pretty good so far. And the, the characters are way cooler. All right, can I upgrade my speed now? Wow, we got so much XP. I got 9,000 now. This is what makes my camouflage longer. What is this? Uh, Mimicry can be used after an eligible target has been indicated by the reticle to transform you. Oh yeah, we transform to an enemy. And this one throws a motion detector towards the reticle that sticks onto any service and displays enemy on the minimap. These are weird, like, these would be, like, for, like, multiplayer against other players, but, like, against the AI, why not just use camouflage? It's strange. Anyways, stealth run. We want more speed. Mm. Is that the max? Increase moves by 50%. Yeah, level 3 is the max. Maximum. Alright, so let's do the detection one. Bam. And the last upgrade that we need is allows you to avoid detection at full run speed. That's really cool. That's what we need. All right, that machine pistol was okay. Let's try out the shotgun DLC. Where is it? Uh, I don't remember if the perforator was DLC or not. There's cowboy shotgun and perforator. Let's try out both, I guess. Let's try this perforator first. And the Matilda is okay, but I think the Samurai Edge is better. Alright, this next mission is called Eye of the Storm. No one knows what happened to Raccoon City. It just went quiet. The few reports collected are nonsensical at best. 
Oh wait, we already read this. It's still the same mission? Hopefully I'm not redoing the same mission twice. I think we have to manually select it, right? Because since I put the DLC in the emulator, it probably assumes I beat everything already. I think it's the same mission. We got an epidemic on our hands. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Oopsies. Matilda's never been good except in RE2. No, I think the Matilda was like super good for if you have like infinite ammo on uh, RE4 Remake because it was just the craziest deeps weapon. So if you want to collect like all the Cheevils and stuff, it was like really efficient for that. The fire rate was insane. Oh sure, infinite. I'm serious though, it was like really good. Like, I mean, even if you don't have infinite ammo, if you want to like do like speed run speed de deeps, you know? Then the Matilda was like good, good. Just the highest DPS was insane. Yo, what's up, Mockery? We're finishing up the Raccoon City DLC. It's pretty good so far. Okay, so the next mission is by the trial of our dead. Jill Valentine has accused Umbrella Pharmaceutical Incorporated of being responsible for the outbreak in Raccoon City. Echo Six must investigate City Hall before Umbrella has a chance to un to cover their trail. All right. So this is kind of like the same mission as the as when we played Umbrella. We're just on the opposite side now. Okay, we have all the weapons equipped. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to cheat casual, I'm just saying if you want to clean up the rest of the challenges for RE4, you know, like it has its use. If you don't want to just go through the whole game again, just so you can like get something very specific, like. More and more reports are coming implicating Umbrella in the production of biological weapons. Echo 6, continue on foot to City Hall for intel on the location of Umbrella's facilities. Oh yeah, for sure. But people like after you beat RE and you've done all the challenges, like you know, for RE4, you know, I don't know if you've seen all my insane challenges that I'm <laughs> that I put myself through, like the no merchant professional and shit. Like once you're done all that, if you want to clean everything up, it's also kind of fun to just play it with just infinite ammo and just have fun through it. A lot of people like that. Just hit his shotgun. But obviously you don't want to just start with it. You got to earn the infinite ammo too, you know, it's like... It's just post-game content stuff. Wait, why, why are there all these markings here? Erect barricade? Oh, we gotta seal everything off. Wait, how, that, that zombie just spawned from nowhere. The shotgun is really slow. Nice. Make the RE4 sound effects.
Damn, they have all this barricaded equipment. Am I the number one RE fan in NA? Probably the number one OCD fan. Resident Evil is just too sick, man. I could play the classic like Resident Evil games like forever. There's just so many ways I can play it. I can. I could do the speed, I could do speed running, I could do like special runs, like pistol only, knife only. There's just so much replayability. It's so fun. This shotgun's pretty strong. Oh, is that Carlito? More cameos. Bam. Wait, Jill's supposed to say. Survivor. He might have information we can use. Mm -mm. No. Got to toss a nade. Bam. Carlos, what did I call? Him? They call him Carlito. Whoops. <laughs> True Red Evil fan right here. If you guys are wondering why he looks so different, it's because it's based off of the classic RE3, not RE3 remake. What do you mean this looks like a student project? Once again, don't forget my resolution is low. Don't let the graphics fool you. Nice. Gotcha. He's not talking. What is this bug? Where's my audio? No. No, what is he saying? Someone who reads lips. Tell me what he's saying. No. <laughs> What does he say? No. How is there like gunshot audio but not voice audio? I probably that's probably the third DLC. Well shit. I got to watch that on YouTube. Is there anyone actually played this game on YouTube? this fortress shoot the spotlights I don't think I shoot him from this angle oh my god my medic actually did something one thing I noticed is those little mini ammo crates you know what I just realized guys you know those little ammo crates I used to grab all the time that refilled my ammo to full? I bet you that's only on casual. That's why I don't see them anymore. You're actually supposed to run out of ammo. That's gotta be a casual only thing. That's why. Mm -mm. Yo, what's up, Mega Man? How you doing, buddy? We're finishing up. Going through more through the Resident Evil series. Oh, you said that, Joe? <laughs> Poor Joe, man. Did you say that as in you thought that's how it is? Or are you just option selecting me?
I optional select. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, wait. The crate's right here, though. Never mind. Maybe there's less of them. Who the fuck does it? Wait. What the hell? The herd doesn't stop bleeding? I think there's infinite zombies. Grab the herb! Shit! Oh no, he threw a nade at my feet! Hide! Cover! He's still alive? Can I blind fire with a shotgun? Medic! Oh my god, the medic is actually clutching right now. I thought the nade landed behind me. Or sorry, in front of me. Oh, I got a nade too, though. Yeah, the Samurai Edge is really, really strong. All my teammates are down. Ah! I can't see. Where did that sniper shoot me from? Where's that angle? He's like right above me. Girl. Good as new. Let's go, team. Oh no! Oh wait, he's, I can revive him. <laughs> the, <laughs> the hell name is D. They're burning documents. Nice. The voices are back. We gotta defuse bombs. Need demolition here. Wait, our medic just walked through the fire and burned himself. Have I heard of Spec Ops the line? Yeah, I have. I heard it's got a, a hardcore twisty thingy. And I think Mira's talked to me about it before. But I heard it's I heard it's a, a really good game, but the title of the game made nobody play it. It's like one of those good games that nobody has played. Uh, which sucks, you know. It happens to movies, too. 
A good example is this game, right? Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. If it wasn't for the name, this game would have been huge. Yeah, Shawshank Redemption is a terrible name. Soldiers approaching. Soldiers where? I can't see. Holy shit! <laughs> Teammates assemble. I need heals. This shotguns are actually really good. I want to try the cowboy one though. There's a bomb. Why would they put the umbrella logo on a fucking bomb like that? This is supposed to be a pharmaceutical company. I know there's like some pride behind this shit, but if you're gonna make a bomb, why would you want to like advertise on it? What the fuck? What the hell's that sound? Like, someone's defusing a bomb, and he's like, wow, you know what? I was actually shopping for that shit. He's like, this is a real bomb. You can you can trust it, because it's got the umbrella seal of approval. Oh, party girl's down. Who's shooting? Really low on health here. Shit, I need to find a heal. Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh, nice, he had a heal. Where are my teammates? The AI in this game? Dude, it's ahead of its time. They tried doing something big. Another bomb. Oh shit. These missions are really cool though. Honestly, it's almost like it should have been the other way around. You should have played as Echo 6 first, and the Umbrella Core should have been the DLC. Oh, shit. Down, I'm lit. I need fucking heals. I 
What the fuck? Damn, my teammates keep dying on, on normal difficulty. Hostile down. Oh no! What? There's too many of the- Oh my good, all my teammates revived. Check your corners. Whoa, this guy has so much health. He's got Kevlar. It's like Hunk. There has to be a heal around here somewhere. I need heals. Team, I need heals. I need bullets too. I need bullets. Oh, nice. My teammate healed me. Watch out! Grenade! I, I can't see. Our girl's down. I don't know why she's staying out there in the open like that. Oh, this guy's got a lot of health for him. This guy right here. Oh, nice. He's down. Gotta fix you up. Disarm the bomb like in Counter Strike. Any more ammo I can pick up? Upstairs. Oh no, the door's down here. Oh, this is where all those liquors were in the first campaign. Oh, wait, what? Liquors again? They use the same enemies? Oh, what the hell? There's a free look button? Well, what the fuck's the point of that?
Damn, these guys have a lot of health. That one just came out of the floor! I'm lit! I think they infinite. Oh, it hit the tripwire! No! That one came out of the floor! <laughs> That's bullshit! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna bum rush the bomb. Oh. Oh, that's cool. As soon as you detonate the thing, the liquors hear you and come out. Ah, oh, shit. This bomb rush idea is not working. Where's the bomb? I did it! <laughs> Speed run. Ah! I'm just gonna run to my teammate so I don't die. Why is there zombies here? Look how many liquors there are! What the fuck? Huge name. This DLC is action packed. Yeah, I can throw nades now. Wait, why can't I escape? Yeah, we resolved the crashing, but I still can't raise the resolution. But this is fine. Wait, I cured the infection. Why am I still infected? Oh, I'm not infected. Liquor's coming for me. About to shoot these barrels? What's the point of that? He said top floor, didn't he? I think I have to clear out those liquors, but I'm super low on health. And all my teammates are down. Looking for a heal. I see a heal on the stage. Party girls. Oh no. Oh no! Ah! 
Maybe I can stealth run it. Oh no, they're coming for me. Oh no! I need heals! There has to be a, a herb around here somewhere. Oh shit! Drop a heal! Drop a heal! Come on, you scrubs! <gasps> There's a heal! Now where do I go? The blood spires are pretty good. It's cool if a zombie like pukes on you. If you kill him close, it splatters on the screen. Heal and I'm good to go. The records room and the intel we're looking for is right ahead. Nice. But Umbrella burnt all the pages already. Oh shit, I double healed. No. At least my teammates are back. Yo, what's up, Paulo? The lighting? Dude, this game will look crazy with ray tracing. Like I said, if you look up this game on YouTube, on the actual resolution. It doesn't look too bad for a 2011 game. And remember, this this did have a PC version, the Windows Live version. They just took it off the store. So on PC, it would look even better. Yeah, we're, Spud, we're playing as the Echo 6 now. We're playing as the military. They're, the characters are a lot cooler than the Umbrella characters, too. And they don't wear helmets. We got a guy named D.A. and Party Girl. But all their abilities are identical to the Umbrella guys. Like, I still have stealth. I'm playing the stealth character. This guy's got a flamethrower? The flamethrower sucks ass! Play Party Girl? Her abilities suck though. Her ability is detective vision. She can see enemies through walls and, and, and loot and stuff. Holy shit, what's going on? I got Party Girl on the team. Do have any nades? Yeah, I got two nades.
Oh no, DA is down. We gained 100 XP. Unlocking zero gallery items. <laughs> What happened to Carlos, guys? Echo six. He just bounced. Excellent work. It looks like you found a previously unknown umbrella facility. Your mission is to locate it and infiltrate it. Oh, that was a short mission. Damn, we got A grade for that? Cool. I want more Easter eggs. More cameos. Right, um... So we gotta manually select the mission now. So... I now know why you cry. What the hell is this <laughs> Terminator 2 reference? Near the clock tower. Echo 6 has discovered intel indicating the presence of a secret umbrella facility beneath the streets of Raccoon City. Their mission is to locate the facility's hidden entrance. <laughs> Kino. This shotgun's pretty good. Let's try the the cowboy one now. Cowboy shotgun. How much XP do I have? Eleven thousand. Wow, these this DLC gives you so much XP. And now I can run at full speed without being detected. My passives are maxed out. And my camo lasts longer now. Can you level your partners? Uh, I don't think so, because when you select them, there's no, like, category. I can't even choose what weapons they have, Robert. But I wonder if I give them my character, if they'll have the abilities. I don't know. But I guess the AI is just working better in that second level. <laughs> Echo 6. Based on that map you accessed in City Hall, we believe that Umbrella's facility is buried deep under Raccoon City. Get into the sewers and see if you can find any access routes to it. Roger that, Command. Roger that. It's the clock tower, guys. They took that out of RE3 Remake. <laughs> Operation Raccoon Seal Remake. Okay, let's not go too crazy here. Oh no, zombies! I like the levels where you're outside. Holy shit, she just threw a flashbang right in front of herself. This thing reloads too often. I guess it is a cowboy shotgun. All my teammates are already infected. Holy shit, that zombie's on fire. What? How does she see me? I'm fucking invisible. Oh shit. 
He's Jill and Carlos. Hospital? <laughs> oh my god, look at that helicopter! Requesting mission exemption to assist Jill and Carlos. Request denied. Request denied? Survivors. But they are survivors! We owe them. Okay, make it quick. This is not your objective. Rescue Jill. Oh no, party girl's dead. Her head got crushed. Wait, you can revive them after you kill them? Okay, where are we going? We gotta find Jill. My team. QC gone. <laughs> oh, we're in the clock tower. This is an homage. Is that gunpowder? Is that gunpowder reference? Oh no. Moon Light Sonata again. This is the room in the clock tower though, but hey, hey. Damn you Capcom. Now this is taking a nap. Carlos, please talk. I need what to- What happened? She's hurt. What the hell is voice? Why does he sound like, you know, not foreign? Get her out of here. We'll cover you. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> Why does he sound like, I don't know, American? I gotta fight Nemesis? Use Nemesis to destroy the main gate. Oh. That shouldn't be hard. I think. Ah, shit! We gotta get Nemesis to shoot all this shit? Looks like it. Hopefully the AI doesn't screw up here. Nemesis, where are you going? I need you to destroy this gate for me. I think he's aiming at me, right? Oh shit! Oh, that zombie took the hit. The tree is blocking the shot! 
Oh fuck! Oh, it got the gate though. Of course. Fuck. Now what do we do? Is that oh no. It's Birkin. I need a machine gun. This shotgun shoots too slow. Oh, this is way better. Doggos! Where's my team? Oh no, this is that warehouse where we fought Nemesis. You can't open this? Oh, it says demolition can open it. Maybe my nade can open it. What? That's whack. That means the demolition is like, well, I guess it's for extra loot. Perfect. I hate that the, they won't let you refill the grenade launch, but I guess that'd be OP. Activate the breaker. I gotta bum rush up those stairs. Damn it, I lost my grenade launcher. I can't see shit. Oh, this is too many guys here. Get fire Watch out! Oh, he threw a knee at my feet. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I need a new weapon. Shotgun. I need like a rifle. Any SMG. Oh, 
Teammates, heal me. I'm standing next to him. I have no health. Why does this weapon sound so stupid? Medic, heal. I was blasting him. Get my six. Watch out. Oh. oh shit, I'm gonna die. Willow, no. At least I got the checkpoint though, I think. Yeah, I did. Hey, I'm back. Guys, what if they announce another Resident Evil at the Game Awards? Oh, they won't though. Resident Evil games don't get announced usually until like E3. He had a grenade launcher. Oh, what the? RE9 with Rose and Dude, the, the winter story is over, okay? No pog champ. Over. Capcom said it's over. The winter storyline is non-canon to me. <laughs> Except the bakers. The bakers are canon. You try to parry deflect the grenade? No, I'm not at that level yet. Hit me with a grenade launcher. Oh shit. You don't see me. Team, help. play RE VR game. <laughs> it's cool, there's mods for the VR team. Oh my god, this guy has a rocket launcher or something. I have to use a grenade launcher in that room. I got hit from him before, I didn't even realize he wasn't dead. Now I lost my grenade launcher now too, shit. At least I got a nade. What is this? Burst rifle? Oh, cool. Good DMR. <laughs> one day I'll get VR, one day. I'm still waiting for the technology to become like absolutely godlike. But it's getting there. Still on the like fence, waiting for like projector screen technology to get better. 
monitor technology to get better. Everything is leveling up. What did that guy have? Oh, it was a rock launcher straight up. down that ladder fast. Oh, he just shook it off. He didn't give a shit. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I think it's on the next floor. I didn't use it. Oh, that's why this stage is called I Know Now Why You Cry. <laughs> I get it. So stupid. <laughs> so stupid, dude. <laughs> Stun Nemesis when he's over this stupid thing. <laughs> He's gonna give me the thumbs up. Bro, your face would melt off if you were standing this close to like melted steel like that. He's still alive? What the fuck? That's all it broke was his rocket launcher? Heat up the next one. Alright, uh... Where is it? Why would the control panels for those things be all over the place? I like how Nemesis will walk to where we need him to go automatically. <laughs> I mean, in the RE3 original, you do like melt him with acid. Ah! 
Where the fuck is Nemesis? Oh shit. Zombies coming from, bro. Party girls down too. Ah, shit, man. No, party girl. <laughs> Shit, we learned him in the wrong spot. Okay, Nemesis is staying in the right spot, I just need to hurt him. <laughs> Nemesis, can you please walk this way to the fire? Oh shit, dude. Oh, I'm locked in the corner! No! No! Yeah, Abigail. <laughs> yes, he's stunned. Machine, do your thing. Yes, I hear the alarm. Wait, that's not how it happened. Should be dead. Good work, Echo 6. Continue on to the sewers to find that umbrella facility. Wait, where's Jill? <laughs> Redcon. Okay. Okay, I think... So that was the first, that was DLC 1. That was the last mission of DLC 1. Now, or never mind. There's, there's four more. Maybe this is the last mission of DLC 1. Nothing is as it seems. Beneath the streets of Raccoon City. Thanks to the intel from City Hall, Echo 6 has located an entrance into a secret sewer system that leads towards the underground umbrella facility. They'll soon discover they are not alone in these sewers. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, I gotta definitely switch my weapon. That shotgun was cheeks. Let's upgrade the camouflage. It's maxed out now. Now I can use it for 45 seconds. Okay, I already know what the grenade launcher is like, so... I, I like shotguns. And since our pistol is so strong... Hmm. 
damage. The, the perforator is really good. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use the perforator. Stunned by a melee attack. So press X to execute them. Oh, I didn't know that. I've mapped the sewer entrance from the schematics we found at City Hall. Location updated. USS are nearby. Engage and neutralize them. Sewer time. Proceeding. Every Resident Evil game needs a sewer section. Umbrella troops, ready for a firefight. Take position. Hey, there's a shopping cart down here. Is that Birkin? Oh shit, it is. Wait, why can't I run? Why are you walking? What's this? Flares. Oh, this is Oh, I can use the flares here? That <laughs> party girl can see, but we can't. Oh, that's kind of cool. If the game had ray tracing. It's a level about lighting. Aren't flares supposed to be bright and red? Flashlight? No helmets, no flashlights. <laughs> what is it? Riot gun? What the hell? Like I mean no sound. Hey, it's clear. Hold it right there. Who are you? Well, it's okay. We're not shooting. Lower your weapons, team. Fine. What's Claire doing in the sewers? Not try anything funny. Identify yourself. My name's Claire Redfield. I'm looking for a little girl down here. Have you seen her? No, but you really think she'd survive down here? She's special. She survived this long on her own. Her name's Sherry Birkin. Please, keep an eye out for her. Oh, we gotta look for Sherry. Echo 6. Sherry Birkin is the daughter of William Birkin, 
the Umbrella researcher who contacted us a week before this outbreak. He's disappeared since then, but his daughter might know something of his whereabouts. Help this woman find her. Roger. If it's okay with you, we'll help you find Sherry Burke. Okie dokie. Nice, more flares. Sherry! Oh good, you can see much better in this area. What the hell are these? Spiders! You can't have spiders anymore in... in... Resident Evil, too scary. These are like the head crab paintings from uh, RE4. Is this the last art game with spiders? Hmm. It's possible. There is another Resident Evil game yet, though. Technically, these are like head grab thingies. Ah! Oh, that did a lot of damage to me. Oh wait, those are flares. No! Party girl, you just blocked my name! Semantics? <laughs> Sherry? Sherry? Oh no! It's Birkin. Whose voice is that? Whoa! He just came on the wall like the Kool Aid Man! <laughs> ah! He's got V Trigger too! Oh, there's another barrel here, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, so Joel, you were talking today about uh, Jamie uh, actually being a really good character, and it's just that the other characters are too like ridiculous that he shouldn't get any buffs. I know you're not the one who said it, but you're the one who brought it up. The thing is, if they if they nerf Drive Rush, then that hurts Jamie's Drive Rush Heavy Punch nonsense. And Jamie's Drive Rush is actually pretty bad. He was good that he was just fine and other characters are cracked. I mean, you... 
you can say that about uh, like you know all the low tiers. The game is not that unbalanced. You know? But what my point is is like when you're balancing a game, the character being balanced is not enough. You know, like for example with Ryu in Street Fighter V, pros are not gonna switch to Jamie unless he was really good or strong or something. So when when players say a character needs buff and needs to be balanced, what they really mean is they want the character to be top tier. That's the only way the character will get popularity. But it's really hard to say, oh, you know, if we nerf JP and blah, 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 will Jamie be, uh... Here, I'll give a good example, okay? Let's say they nerf JP to the ground. All of a sudden, Guile becomes the best character in the game because Guile uh, doesn't have to worry about JP anymore. Well, then that hurts Jamie even more if Guile is the most popular character because Guile destroys Jamie, mauls him. So... That is just a very small example of, like, the ripple effect of a balance patch. So it's, like, really complicated. Hey, it's Sherry. Uh-oh. I gotta throw flares for her? Here's light, Sherry. That's pretty cool. I'm here. Hosta, I'm closing on Sherry. Kill where? Hosta, where? Don't let who get you? I'm okay. What hostiles? Are you still there? And Sherry's got the whole cavalry watching her. get down there. Oh. Cover her!
Uh, one sec, Valkyrie. I'll read your comment here. I get the chance. Calamans is crazy uh protecting mission. Where are you going, Sherry? Laying the way for you. Can't throw it any further. Oh, that was a good one. <coughs> yeah, where do I go now? I did the way for her. Yeah, Sherry's too far gone, too much, <laughs> way too traumatized. Grenade launcher. <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> oh, one second, get some water. I'm not into the musical chairs balancing that just shakes up the meta. I'd rather them take the top tiers down a peg and bump the low tiers up so the gap between them is smaller each patch. I don't want it to be like Street uh, Season 2 of Street Fighter 5 where they cut off Nash's legs. Seems like most people just want to see different characters in tournaments though and I don't care about balance. And don't care about balance. Those are two separate things. Making the meta fresh is musical chairs, which I don't, which I said I don't like. Basically, yeah, if you really want to like simplify it, people do want to just see character variety in tournaments it's not just about balance <laughs> for example we have 10 lukes now in catcom cup and probably gonna have more soon and 46 cans in top eight throughout catcom pro tour and we're gonna get a, a mirror match fest coming up at catcom cup and don't get me wrong some of the majors have been really lucky like it's lucky that Gachi Kun won the Singapore major, like super lucky. And Mena has been doing so well with Blanca. Oh god. Hunters? But one solution is to simply just raise the frequency of patches. So two a year would help out immensely. It doesn't really matter if Capcom nails it or not. At least there's something to, to look forward to rather than one year. That's why this bounce patch is so scary because... First off, it doesn't matter how good this bounce patch is. No one's gonna know how the patch is gonna affect the game's meta, right? No matter how much Capcom carefully adjusts characters. So if it ends up being bad, we're stuck with it for a year, you know? It's, that's just bad altogether. But Street Fighter V, the history of its balance and all that, it wasn't so bad. There was some pretty good character fight variety. The Nash situation was complicated because people play that character in ways they never expected. And they tried to, to force people to play Nash a certain way, which was aggressive. And it just didn't work.
They're like, don't play Nash as his owner, play him as a aggro character, and just, it just never worked. Tammy and Yurian dominated for years. Yeah. For a really long time. But it still wasn't like as bad as it like it is now, Slim, where we have like, you know, so many fucking loops and shit, so I don't know. We'll have to see. The goal is obviously to keep the game balanced. That is the goal. And Capcom did say, like, the new director and producer, they did recently say they, they're trying not to nerf. But not nerfing to balance the game is, like, it's just impossible, dude. And it's not it's not a good idea to just not nerf. Because there's just certain things that, like, characters will always remain top tier unless you nerf them. There's just no way. I, I mean, unless they want every character to fireball drive rush. Then the game is just gonna be stupid. Or have DJ's dry rush speed. You know? In Street Fighter V, it was kind of complicated because there's three frame normals. There's characters without reversals. The character with three frame normals. There's characters with uh, insane V triggers. Like, Street Fighter VI is not as brutal on that. Everyone's got a four frame, the health bars are all pretty much the same. They kept on lowering Kami's health and shit. And we don't know what's going on with Street Fighter 6. Like, we don't know if Capcom's gonna take out throw loops. We don't know if they're gonna take out safe jumps or try to take out safe jump setups. Like, who the fuck knows what they're doing? We won't know until season two, like, the direction this game's gonna go. It's a very important season. Buffs over nerfs is a good guideline. I mean, you don't wanna make a character just never seen again. That's, like, stupid. So, going. I'm just just don't take it to extremes. That's all. But just like with Ryu and Street Fighter V, uh, you can't just do small buffs either. Like you, you have to make an impact. It has to be big. And same with nerfs. With Luke and Street Fighter V, they nerfed him. They did, but it didn't make enough impact because once again, you have to convince a pro player to drop their character, a character that they have spent years or months learning it takes a lot to make someone want to switch characters it does unless you're you know fucking fujimura but not everyone is good at switching characters like that we need to figure out how to open that door i know what that is help us out sherry this is a pretty cool mission too i like the flare idea where'd you get that key card sherry my mommy gave it to me. And where's your daddy? I don't know. Don't want to know. Why not? That's He's dark. different than he was before. Shit got dark. Yeah, different is... yeah. I don't think anyone should have to drop their main after a patch. Uh, if they really don't want to, you know? But there's a lot of players too, Mockery, that are, like, just to be blunt, are carried by their character. There's a lot of players that have no business being where they are, but their character is just so dumb, it carries them. And I think those players should be exposed. Just straight up. I just think that if they... I'm not saying they nerfed the character so bad, but I nerf them enough so that it's more of the player than the character. <laughs> That's all.
I agree, Vesper. Gut Luke. <laughs> well, no matter how much uh, I can convince you guys about Luke, the fact remains that he is the most popular character in Capcom Cup right now, so there's not much I can say. <laughs> I get two wins because the Luke has that crouching beam punch. <laughs> Chris Wall's never gonna win again after they cut off Luke's Popeye arms. Uh, we'll see, right? Depends if they add another, like, super neutral base character. Go! Oh! Stay away from Sherry. Just don't forget, guys, like... You guys don't understand how good Chris Wan is, bro. Like, there are Luke's. There are tons of Luke's in Capcom Cup, but like 99% of them are from. Oh god, I'm gonna end up on Reddit. Well, you know, okay? You know. And Chris Wong is the only Luke that has won a major tournament. Major, like, premier tournament. Okay? I'm not talking about. Guys, help me here, okay? God. I need a PR agent. You guys aren't helping me. Let him cook! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see at Capcom Cups. Maybe somebody will step up and prove me wrong. We'll see. I'm excited for Capcom Cup. I just hope there's not too many mirror matches, you know? I don't want the first season to start off flat. I just... Man, when I watched... When I was watching that uh, NA East, and I was watching Idom play with Mano, like... Dude, you could just see the effort, like the... The matchup knowledge and just the way he played, it looked perfect. And just... Still seeing him lose is just heartbreaking, like I'm just like, wow. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Best we used to crab up. Okay, dude, Laura, like, come on. Mano is not even on the level of Laura. Not even close. It's night and day. Imagine if Mano was. I, dude, after getting random select with Mano so many times, I actually want to play her again. Before the patch, she was really fun to play. I like really like her buttons. I don't get any metal levels though because I suck. But I just use the buttons. Her buttons are amazing, and this is the thing about Street Fighter Six that I keep trying to say that like if you take out Drive Rush and you just play the game straight up, it's so fun. And during the first beta test of Street Fighter VI, there wasn't very dry rush, no one really knew how powerful it was, right? And just playing Manon and like controlling the, the ground with her, it, it feels really good. I see why like Japan still has her higher than low, just because her buttons carry her, like her buttons are so good. No, oh, get away from Sherry! Kind of no, I was paying guy. attention. Ah, oh. damn, dude! I let I let Sherry get bitten. 
I'm the worst. What were we talking about again, Luke? <laughs> this is another cool section. What's in here? Oh, it's just an SMG. So is this time based? Or I need Sherry to hack the door for us. Where is she? Where is Sherry? Oh my gosh, she's getting attacked already? This game would look great with ray tracing and RE engine. And REX engine. What? RE Engine 5. The REX Engine might not even be the final name. That could just be the code name for now. I was apologizing to Mano. Do you guys think there's any character in Street Fighter 6 right now that's underrated? Like, you guys think it's much stronger than people say they are? Is there anyone who's underrated? Geef? I can- I can almost- I never agree with Slim on anything, but Geef? Geef is interesting. Why do you think Geef is stronger than people say, Slim? Because he's so- he does so much damage? And his buttons and shit? Blanca? I think a lot of people think Blanca's strong, though. No! Walking casino? I mean, the whole game is a walking casino, bro. Why are my teammates not shooting these zombies? Who else did you guys say? Jamie? I don't know about Jamie, bro. <laughs> There's some really good Jamie players. And that character ain't even coming close to topping. I mean, Aki's got a better chance. What are my teammates doing? I can't see. Ah! Is this on the 3DS? <laughs> the graphics are so bad. No, this is on this is on PlayStation 3. But but if you're just getting here, this is not on the the, the native resolution. I'm playing at 480p because the the game is very unoptimized for emulator. I, I messed up. I was supposed to play it on uh on PS now. I messed up big time. The 3DS game was much better. I think this would be a blast playing with a friend though. I think you guys are too harsh. My teammates were glitched out. They probably were. I was wondering why they were like... You guys gotta remember, this is during like the Xbox 360 days, you know? Jamie is strong, no, not OP. Like I said, Jamie has just never even came close to doing anything. You gotta remember, this character needs to get drinks every round. Every round. Like, imagine Jamie going against a Ken, and Ken does fireball dry rush on Jamie. Like, my god, dude. With zero drinks. Like, 
Think about how often you're put in the corner in Street Fighter 6. Like, how does Jamie even get started? My teammates are like oblivious on this mission. Oh, I'm out of bullets! I don't understand. Am I doing this mission correctly? How long am I supposed to protect her for? These guys are like constantly spawning. Oh, she's moving. Open this door for me, Sherry, please. I have unlocked zero gallery items still. This game doesn't want to give me any content. Sure, are you going to be okay with yourself? Because I'm going to just run through this tunnel. Will Ed be revealed tomorrow, Vesper? He's the only one saving Street Fighter 6. I mean, you know it. Uh, what was I going to say? I mean, we're... What do you guys think? I mean, I hope we see Ed, but the chances are slim. We're gonna have to do a, a, a bet on it. Uh-oh, Kool-Aid man. Oh no, Papa. Hey, it's Claire. I found an exit, hurry! It's coming this way. Get Sherry out of here. We'll cover your stake. Damn, we gotta take care of everything for Claire. <laughs> Kino. Escape? Oh, we're running for it. Oh, this is like the very first mission in the game. Well, we gotta drop him. I mean, let's just. Everyone needs just need to keep their expectations in check, and we'll just hope we'll see him tomorrow. Even if we do see Ed, and it's just like a world tour teaser, that at least gets the ball rolling for January. What the hell? No reveal equals dead game. I mean, it just me like I still think he's not coming out until Tekken 8, until the end of January, regardless. Where's the switch? I need to toast this guy. What's over there?
Revive a teammate? Who's down? Oh, it's DJ. No, I hate that stupid move. Hello, DJ. DJ! Oh my god, dude, the prompt. Let's toast him again, I guess. Oh shit. DJ. Did I get him? Nice. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Damn it! He really doesn't like my teammates. This game is booty? Why? We're fighting Birkin! Look at all the Easter eggs. Sorry, I lit my teammates up there. He's right best for own it. I'm having fun. Ah! You guys hate everything. Oh, that was the end of the mission. Nice. Bam. We're almost done, guys. You guys can start self complaining about how bad this game is. Alright. Nothing is at his seams. Root of all evil. Hmm. Root of all evil. Echo 6 are in constant communication with command, closing on Umbrella's facility. The team is cautious as no one is sure what the team may find. More cameos. Can we world play World Tour after? We are. We are gonna play World Tour. I finished my OCD on that as well. I'm excited to check out those missions. Echo 6. Umbrella's underground facility should be nearby. Search the sewers for an entrance. Loud and clear, Command. <laughs> I think those red dots are zombos. That Sherry mission was pretty cool. It was different, you know? 
This DLC so far... Oh, that's where Bergen fell down. Uh, DLC so far, the missions are pretty fun. Like I said, I think the, the DLC that? missions are better than the actual game. The, the original campaign. That sound is definitely getting louder. The hell? Oh, spiders. Oh, I need flares. Can't see shit. You know, for Umbrella making all these secret labs and stuff, I don't know about them just advertising their logos everywhere. Still giving us flares for the lag? Oh, decontaminated. Command, Echo 6 reporting. You might want to take a look at this. Roger, Echo 6. Your mission is recon and information retrieval. See if you can locate a command center of some sort. Oh, we still need flares. The flare idea is cool. It's just that the lighting is just not there yet. The technology is not there yet. Blew me up. I also like the oh this fucking propane tank. Uh, I also like the missions where you're just fighting zombies and not soldiers. But then again, it wouldn't be a, a, a cover cover base shooter if it wasn't something shooting at you, right? How's the auto aim? I never have auto aim enabled except for this game, and it's not really helping that much. The aim is still really bad. It's not apex level, that's for sure. Wait, the objective is this way. How do I get here? I gotta go all the way around. This HQ. Welcome to Umbrella. Commonly known to the world as the leading global producer of pharmaceuticals and household products, we are also a pioneer in biological and genetic research. 
As one of Umbrella's specialized researchers, you will be working extensively with our T-Virus. This groundbreaking virus can be used to create bioorganic weapons as varied as our clients' needs. The MA-121, the T-103, and the new T-02 Nemesis are just a few of our cutting-edge products. <laughs> Now the greatest minds at Umbrella have made a recent breakthrough into a new virus strain, called the G-Virus. Only a select few will be chosen to conduct research with it. The G-Virus will make us the leaders in modern warfare and present a benchmark in scientific discovery that will be more significant than the polio vaccine or the atomic bomb. That is because the G-Virus will put natural evolution in the palm of our hands. With your help, yeah, we have we will have all the evidence we need. The full potential of humankind. Welcome to Umbrella. Oh, it restarts. We're stealing all their information. Uploading a facility schematic to you. Roger, Echo 6. Schematic received. So the T virus started this outbreak, and the G virus could make it much worse. Hey, who's that? Affirmative. We need a sample of that G virus. Oh, Check what the that hell? That was DA. He just looked weird. Uh -huh. We got a company. The breach. This game is still alive. We're playing the DLC. That's pretty good so far. <laughs> we found Jill. Oh no, turrets! Oh, and there's the soldiers. How do I disable the damn turrets? Of evil. Come on, guys. It's different. What the hell? Who are you? Here's a shotgun too. That turret was kind of helping us though. But I guess that's where we need to go to. Wait, what happened to Party Girl? She went down? Oh no! Party Girl! You're playing on console? Dude, the, <laughs> the PC version of this game 
was taken off the Steam store 10 years ago. <laughs> Capcom buried this game. They didn't want anyone to know. They covered the evidence. It doesn't even exist. Still selling on consoles? I'm sure it's on the digital store, yeah. Yeah, they covered it like umbrella, exactly. Well, the game actually runs really good. It's just that I'm playing on emulators, so it's uh, it's really unoptimized. The game actually looks really good too. It's just I'm playing on low resolution as well, just to keep it stable. One shot. No, no, grab the herb. Oh, nice head grenade. Uh oh. <sighs> That's Sherry. Seems to imply she's got the G virus. <sighs> Poor girl. I wish we'd known that earlier. You have to find Sherry, but first, stop the programming hey, thanks. before it's finished. We don't want that tyrant after. Her. Destroy equipment. Got it. On a scale of RE6 to RE2 Remake, how would you rate this? I would rate this needs a remake. You need a remake to compare it to other remakes. Hunters? Why is the whole interact sound effect the same as like a priest reviving you in World of Warcraft? Wait, what happened to my teammates? Yo, what's up, Deku? Installation self-destruct sequence engaged. All personnel are to evacuate immediately. Rip team. Repeat. No, oh, they're fine. Personnel <laughs> are to evacuate immediately. <laughs> Oh shit, Mr. X is here too? Oh fuck! 
challenge! Oh my god, I'm I'm throw getting throw loot. Oh! Hey, that's the I think that's the RE2 uh hexagon or Pentagon platform catwalk scenes. I think that's what they were trying to redo. Pretty sure. Well, where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, this way. Wait, what? Yes, please. Oh, shit. Get off me. I can't see shit. No, DJ! That's so cheap they can OTG you and, and still damage you. Crabs. Oh shit! <laughs> DJ, what are you doing? Wait, no, what about my other teammates? Oh, fuck. What's happening? Wait! That's not cannon. Damn, that was another, uh, uh, short mission. Bam. Henry, thanks so much for the sub. Appreciate it, dude. Hope you're having a great week. Yeah, we're chilling today. I'm just finishing this up, and then, uh, we're gonna play some World Tour and relax, and then tomorrow is, uh, Game Awards. And Jones gonna play some retro, and then we'll finish our, uh, random select tomorrow, too. Are you playing the best RE ever? You know it, I'm playing, we finished it, but now we're playing the DLC. And the DLC is even better. Okay, hold on, what's the next mission now? Yeah, two more missions, this is the second last one, guys. The places we're meant to die. Echo 6 has discovered how crucial Sherry Birkin is. However, any further search and rescue is impossible until Echo 6 deal with Umbrella's secret security service base. Alright.
This need a triple A budget, four player co op. And canon storyline. Echo 6, we still need to secure Sherry Birkin before Umbrella does. They have a significant force advantage on the ground in Raccoon City. We've got to disable their forward operating base located at the P-12A Waste Disposal Facility, known as the Dead Factory. Dead Make factory. your way there and neutralize all Umbrella forces present. Yes, come on. Nice. Hey, it's the hospital. That's cool if we go there. And another thing too, guys, as much as you guys talk shit about this game, like, when I was looking at videos for this, this game, after we finished it, and look at the YouTube comments, man, there's a ton of people that love this game, and they wish they made more. People speaking up, man. Oh. Oh no! Are those hunters? It's the fastest, safest way to get to the dead factory. Ah. Wait, what? We're at the cemetery again? Wait, it says it's locked. What still is a thing? There's the resistance game too, but I don't know. Oh, I didn't realize I was so low on health. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I know he was. Yeah. The thing is, is though, it's like... Even though... It's just that... I guess it's cool to try them all out, but you know, those are like multiplayer games. They're not even like... There's like zero story at all, you know? This is like still a multiplayer game, but... It at least has a story, whether it's canon or not. It's basically like just playing like a... I don't know, DLC Mercenaries mode or something, I guess. But then again, we did play Mercenaries uh, 3D. So I might check it out one day. But for now, I want to get the main series done, and this is part of the main series.
There's also like funky ports I've been watching a lot. Off stream on YouTube and stuff. Crazy ports of RE1 and stuff like that. But we played all the important ones on stream. Oh yeah, so we ha we Oh, the gate is open now. Okay. That first aid spray. Yeah, we do have to fight the hunters. What? I died? I thought I just healed. How is it taking so much deeps? At least we got a checkpoint, though. But like the last two Resident Evil games we played, like I said, the, the 3DS version and this, these games can actually do pretty well. I think better than even Exo Primal, to be honest. They just need to have some quality to it. They'd have to modernize it too, because you know the cover shooters are a little outdated now, but. Just Capcom is always really like behind when they try to chase certain like trends and stuff. Like, for example, I wouldn't be surprised if Capcom just like makes tries to make like a Dead by Daylight game or something with Resident Evil franchise and shit. Like, they're always behind. The cover system? Oh yeah, like RE5, RE6 styles. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed there was a lot of... Catcom was, uh, put a lot of the characters in it. Really wish I knew, like, the numbers on Exo Primal. Like, Capcom still updates that game. It's got more updates than Street Fighter 6. Damn, what the hell is done to me there? What the hell was that? That's bullshit! I'm on fire. Shit, I gotta kill the hunters. Isn't this Left 4 Dead style game? No, this is a cover shooter. Squad based cover shooter. Well, we got we got our outfit for the year, Slim. Just like that YouTube comment said, Slim, just be thankful Capcom has given us outfits and stop being so entitled. Just be thankful. Of course.
According to Steam Charts, Exo Primo has an average of 187 players in the last 30 days. Yeah, but I think that game is way more popular on console because of Game Pass. But 187 sounds dead. I think KOF has more players than that. The outfits are going to all the avatars, yeah. Well, like I said, after Capcom released these costumes, we'll see now how much money Capcom makes and if it's worth it for them to, to go harder. That's what you can't say you're the pillar of the KO15 community. Hey, man. That was fun. KOF 16 comes out with crossplay, that'd be sick. How's that sound? Oh shit, turrets. Don't mind me. Why does everyone want cross play for all these dead games? So that they don't, they're not dead. How did my teammates see me? I was invisible. Spec Ops. Welcome to the Dead Factory. Hey, it's Four Eyes! Biologic Reclamation Facility. Let's try a little experiment, shall we? Let's see how long it takes my B.O.W.s to tear you all limb from limb. This should be fascinating. She's the bad guy. <laughs> Four eyes revenge. Remember, she doesn't have feelings. Oh my god! Wait, I thought he was infected by the spider. That's another mistress. He looks pissed. 
Yeah, Four Eyes is in the original game. Because you play as Umbrella in the original. Neutralize all enemy force. They're vulnerable to head damage. Got it. I can shoot DJ. Yeah, it's like, this was during the time that Xbox 360 days of like cover shooters and Gears, right? And then you have a AAA game like Gears, right? And it's cool you can play with your friends, but there was a lot of multiplayer games like this. And uh, the problem is if you're not into Resident Evil, since this game isn't like AAA, you're like, okay, well, I don't really want to play this because I don't play Resident Evil. And if you're a Resident Evil fan, you're pissed off too because you're like, this isn't Resident Evil. Wait, what is this? Wait, they delivered this to us? What if that thing fell upside down? Another one. Holy shit! Oh! Oh shit, look at this mission! Oh, this is hype. Yeah, it's Tyrant City, bro. I need to stay alive and get that machine. I gotta see if there's a rock launcher in here. It's a grenade launcher. Oh, throw loops. My gun goes, don't tell me I lost the shotgun. Wait, there's more? Wait, he did even more of this. Oh, there it is. Guy went down. That's you.
There's heals everywhere. Ow! Damn, he's knifing him? My team is crazy. Nice. Echo six, great work. We have information regarding the survivors and Sherry Birkin. Stand by to receive. Over. Cool. That was a really sick mission. That one would be really fun to play with friends on like the hardest setting. Have like a million bosses running around. All right, guys, last mission. This is it. This is finally the end, guys. I promise. No more DLC. Hey, I was playing on difficulty veteran? That's interesting. We can keep it on veteran. No wonder I was taking so much damage. As the stress call has been received from police officer Leon S. Kennedy informing Spec Ops Command of the whereabouts of Sherry Birkin and Claire Redfield, Echo 6 must reach the survivors and secure a safe extraction. And this is the train yard mission. Alright, this is it, guys. Let me get my dream team ready. Bam. It can't be where this game is so keen. No? <laughs> Let's see if we actually run into the other squad now, because it, it showed it. We heard four eyes, so maybe we get to fight uh, Vector. We've received a distress call from a Raccoon City cop named Leon Kennedy. He's a rookie. He's trying to help Claire Redfield and Sherry Birkin escape from Raccoon City, but they're being pursued by Umbrella forces. Locate Kennedy and help him evacuate Sherry Birkin and her valuable cargo. Roger, we're on our way. Yeah, no Ada in the DLC, unfortunately. And I don't know what the hell happened to Carlos, bro. He disappeared. That G -virus. That's more than enough evidence for the government. Which means we go home. Uh, I think there's more- we have enough evidence besides even the G-Virus. <laughs> that entire stupid command center spilled the beans. The train. Oh, damn! Shot. Whoa! What if they missed? Oh man, this stage is gonna be awesome. It's an all out war. Oh, rocket launchers and everything. What the hell? There's a zombie in that porta potty. Uh oh. That wasn't a good idea. That rocket launcher guy's priority. I'm lit!
Wait, I can't. Oh, he shot me point blank! Okay, even on veteran difficult, I can survive a rocket shot. Like data from what? I just got hit by a grenade! my gun <laughs> this is at the checkpoint Oh my god, these dogs, dude. <laughs> my blood's getting deflected by the thingy. I got hit by bullet punch. Oh god. This game again? We're almost done, Qua. We were doing the DLC. It's a lot better than the base game. You missed out on Jill Valentine. And Claire again. And Sherry Burke and we had a rescue mission. It was fun. And there's so much lore. Oh. It would have been canon if this game was successful, Qua. That's an option select. 
The game bombed, they took it off the Steam store, and they're like, it's not canon! You excited for Game Awards tomorrow, Claw? Let's hope we see some Ed. Ed's so sick. That must be the USS one. Leon. Zelda better win? Oh god, if Zelda wins, the Salt Train's gonna be insane. Holy shit, I'm getting destroyed! Someone hitting me? Oh, right here! I need heals! Party girl, heals! Yeah, well, let's hope, let's hope for some heightened security here on the Game Awards. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. I don't even know where the fuck to heal. Oh, nice. My teammate healed me, though. Where's the control? Oh, it's right here. Someone's getting a pain thrown on them? No way, man. If anyone comes close to that stage, bro, there'll be like 50 laser scanners pointed at them. Fuck. This guy with the shotgun's crazy. Oh, party girl's down. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Kratos? No, they're not gonna let him anywhere near the damn mic. Besides, God of War is not gonna win shit. Unless Street Fighter 6 wins Game of the Year and Ono pops off on stage. Ask the entire Game Awards to do a sure you can. He's presenting? I heard they're handing out Steam decks. Get in there. One hundred old at Steam decks? Hype. Containers. Never know what's inside. 
What? How do I open them? Oh. Wait! Why would there be like three cob zombies inside of a box container like that? That makes no sense. I just want to see an Ed trailer. That's what I'm looking for, Makri. I want to see some Ed. I don't care if it's gameplay. I don't care whatever. I just want. I just want Ed. If I was, if I was hoping, I would love Ed to look at the screen, say "Hey Vesper" and wink at me and say I'm a charge character with no fireball. That would be like a dream come true. Oh yeah, they'll show the the GTA 6 trailer officially. Yeah, they might. Akuma teaser? Oh. Yeah, 0.1%. It's just way too early. It's possible. But even the chance of seeing Ed is already like very very low. So. Project L, no. Riot will. Riot doesn't need to show trailers off at like game conferences. Heads. They need to bring back the whole Crimson Head thing again. Dude, this RE1 remake is just so sick. They really need to remake RE1 again. And take the the whole Crimson Head concept to the next level. The lighter, the, the whole oil, oil thing. Add like a co-op. <laughs> and make it, like, make the mansion just endlessly long. Make you go out in the woods again. Or it doesn't have to be endlessly long, it just has to be like... I like added all those cool modes to it, you know, invisible zombies and... All that shit was fun. Make and sing hard difficulties. Randomizer, you know. Yo, what's up, Frito? Yo, we're finishing up the... Raccoon City DLC. We're really close here, and then we're gonna chill and play some World Tour. Oh, we've never been here before. This is a new area. What's this? Something big is coming our way. What the hell? You understand how heavy that thing is? Oh no! It's Mr. X Spider. It's Monster Hunter time. 
Holy shit, big boss fight. That's what the, this game needed. It mo needed more huge giant boss battles. And then the game would be called Monster, I mean, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. This thing is huge, and that barrel didn't do anything. Eat stun. It's not getting stunned. He's got glowy things on his back. He needs more hunk. Yeah, hunk was for one level in this game, and then he bounced. Even though people gave uh, RE3 Remake a lot of shit, I really enjoyed the last boss of RE3 Remake. And plus on Inferno mode, it was so fun. You can't get hit once. I love that shit. And people complained it was too hard, and that made me happy. The, the range on that spinning lariat. You enjoy three remake a lot. Just wish it was a little longer. Like I said, the the Inferno mode was really cool, but it would have been fine if it was short. If if like I said, they added the other paths, like the original. Like it's just, man, it's just such a completely different game than RE3. It's so ridiculous. No split paths or different algorithms of enemies, and they they recycled the sewer section from RE3. Damn, those shots I was doing was saying I wasn't hitting the weak point. At least he's easy to knock down. Holy cow, that ring! My eyes. Well, still, at least Capcom learned from that game, though. Like, RE3 still did well as a game, but the backlash, Capcom's like, okay, look, we gotta change this up. Like, they don't want to risk the RE franchise, like, going downhill again, you know? The way RE4 Remake was handled was really good. RE4 Remake, like, even if you don't like it as much as the original, at least there's a reason to still play both games. And the DLC was really good for it. 
Have I played the Doom series? Yep, it's all up on the second channel. We played Doom 1, 2, Doom 3, even the OG Doom 3 with the flashlight. And I played a bunch of uh, DLC stuff with Mir. And we played uh, the new Doom and uh, the newest Doom, I forgot what they're called, but... The only thing I haven't done is I haven't played the latest new Doom DLC. It's the only thing I haven't played. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Oh, next phase? His weak points closed up. Oh, final phase, I think. It's only his chest. Where's the box of ammo? It took so long that the, the music looped. Yeah, do me turn off. The do no, they nerfed it, Glenn? Are you kidding me? They gave it the Callisto? Treatment? That's ridiculous. Dude, I remember there was one gun that was so broken in Doom Eternal. It was like a... Some kind of like... Flak cannon or... I forgot what it was, but there was a really broken gun and I, I, I tried not to use it. Just to make the game harder. But then again, I was using mouse and keyboard. So. I mean, the new Dooms are pretty cool. Uh, it's obviously it's not the same if you're like the OGs, but the way they change it, I think, is pretty cool. Making you switch between weapons and stuff, I think, is sick. They did a good job. Hey, the weak points pop up. I'm making it harder because I can't hit certain parts. And he's falling down at weird angles. Yo, it was the ballista, right? Good memory sword. And like, I mean, like I'm just weird like that, you know. But just like when we're playing DMC, like I'll be going to full backseat mode next time we play. But I had a lot of fun playing the game, regardless. And those challenge rift things they had were super fun. Those were like the best parts of the game, with those challenge rifts. We had a blast from them. Yeah, I'm playing on veteran difficulty. Maybe I thought it wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> Close up all the wounds, right? Oh, there's this chest that's exposed. I just can't get a good angle. Just 
Stop knocking me down so I can shoot you. Oh my god. I gotta make sure to heal. I can't risk him killing me. We did it! Hey, it's Leon! Leon, why didn't you do that in the first place? Oh! Rocket launcher! It wasn't Ada, it was Leon this time to continue the tradition. Wait, it's, it's not a rock launcher, it's a grenade launcher. Oh, better than nothing. Where's the boss? Wait, what? No, you said the DMC series? We already did play DMC 1, but we're gonna play it again uh, soon. We're gonna be bouncing between a bunch of shit. Oh, there's the boss. Wait, what? He's growing under the ground. You didn't say use this and it wasn't a rock launcher. I think we might have got a checkpoint when Leon threw down that grenade launcher. The top of his back is exposed. How the hell did I hit that? the shotgun. Leon's supposed to shoot it. 
We need like a sniper rifle. Let's see if I can find a gun around here. Riot gun. Assault rifle. I mean, assault rifle should be fun. My screen is shaking violently. Oh! He was one shot, dude, and I was looking for a weapon. Oh, never mind, he's still alive. What the fuck now? Well, I think we should stick with this. Is this the final boss? It, yeah, it has to be. For the DLC. Oh, this is whack. He's like, you know, with his whack ass spider arms. Oh, this weapon is so good for this boss. This is the ammo box. This ammo raid box is showing me. I don't know, I wasn't using the correct weapon, I think. Oh, here's the ammo box. Don't worry, guys, we're gonna finish this game. Dude, come on. This is cheap. This is so cheap. This is like really makes me think of like um, uh, Outbreak, Resident Evil Outbreak. Some of the bosses in that game were really tough too. They like feel like they went on forever. Oh, I picked up a new weapon, I think. on the screen. Ah! Vlog watcher skipped 10 hours. <laughs> Alright, the guys watching this on YouTube one day. They'll be like, screw this. I just can't good, get a good, like, LOS on him. He just, the screen shakes so much and he moves around like an idiot. And I can only shoot a specific spot. 
I'm actually running out of heals here. I've healed so many times. I hear Leon sniping. Like, I think a sniper rifle would be so good for this fight. You just need some... I need some damage. Oh, that was good. Okay, please be it. How many how many phases does this thing need? Oh, sleepy time. We did it, guys. Phase 43. He's bread. Wow, look at it. We have the whole crew with us? That's cool. But where's Carlos? Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, what? Is she supposed to be the stealth operative? That's what the chat wanted to do for the last 20 minutes. That's what we're here for. I'm just happy it's over. It's not over yet. Umbrella has to pay for what they did here. I'll make sure the world sees them for who they really are. No, you but won't, that, Leon. Someone needs to fight that fight. What about you? Any post-apocalyptic plans? I still have to find my brother. Will you take care of Sherry? Sure. The chat wanted to knock the controller on my hand and be like, Vesper, let me take care of it from here. Echo 6, you're safe. Command, we're not being extracted? I'm sorry, Echo 6. This thing isn't over yet. There's it's gonna end at a cliffhanger? Why aren't they coming with us? Sherry's existence, coupled with Leon and Claire's reports, will help expose our growth. You've done a good job, but it's not over. We fist bump? What? That's the game? That's it, guys. <laughs> so, was it Kino? Their job has never ended, guys. Damn, dude. Okay, besides that last boss fight, I'm I'm telling you guys, the DLC in this game was really fun. It was way better than the Umbrella, like the base game. Way better. The missions had good variety. Uh, protecting Sherry, the flare, that 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 last mission, the second last one with the million tyrants on the screen, that Mr. X's and shit. That should have been the last mission. That was Kino. That was super fun. Playing that with a friend would be awesome on the hardest setting, but. I mean, pretty much everything that has been said, has been said. This game is just like, mediocre in every direction. And if Capcom wants to try to branch Resident Evil out to like, the normies, and try to get it out of the survival horror genre and make a side thing, they can't, they can't go cheap. It's gotta be big, it's gotta be RE Engine, it's gotta be AAA. It's gotta have to have predatorial microtransactions. It's gonna need loot boxes, battle passes. Free to play, maybe. I don't know. They need to go all out. FOMO. But and another thing, too, is like, I like the characters better, too. Even though they don't talk too much, they were just cooler because you can see their faces and their backstories. Were, the Umbrella guys were just like, I don't know. They didn't even like each other. It was cool seeing Hunk because Hunk's a character, you know? Isn't Ari already for normie, normies? I mean, I wouldn't say so. Not until RE4. Then it started becoming for more news. Capcom will, will try again. Year after year. This is not the end of squad-based shooters. It never will be. They'll somehow try to bring it back. I mean, there was some cool stuff about the main campaign, like... It was cool to see Ada and Nikolai. I don't know what the hell happened to Carlos in this story. But just playing with a friend would be fun. Make maybe make the skill tree a little bit more interesting. Some of the, a lot of the skills were like useless in this game. Like I said, you can nitpick this game to death, saying it's not my Resident Evil, it's not survival horror, but 
It, it just needed triple A. I understand this is not Catcom's forte, like, they don't know how to make squad based shooters. Maybe they have more experience now after XL Prime on Monster Hunter, but it just needed that polish and it needed to be canon. I know the playing with friends OS is eternal, but it's true though. Like, these games are meant to be played with a bunch of friends. Remember, this is 2011, 2012. This is like Xbox 360 days, you know? This is... We're like already halfway in the Street Fighter 4 at this point. In this game's life. Four, five, six have been survival horror games. I mean, yes, survival horror, but I get what you're saying. But this is like a big team-based thing. Like, remember even Resident Evil Zero, Jiro. They tried having, it looked like they were trying to make a co-op survival horror Resident Evil, a true survival horror one. But even then the technology wasn't there yet. So I don't know, we'll see in the future. It's just Capcom's weird like that. What they think will pop off and what won't. Like, Capcom's on the up, but like I said, this Exo Primal thing is just weird. Like, remember, this game allows you to jump in mid-campaign with other players. Like, it's just kind of a turn-your-brain-off kind of game, you know? You can just literally join someone's campaign and play with them, and it's like, whatever. And they probably had voice chat and everything. If they had a Resident Evil game like that where you play as the actual Resident Evil characters and you do a ton of like mission lore stuff in the game in co-op, it'd be really fun. But they'd have to take it seriously. Like I said, it can't just be a quick cash grab because, you know, those games would just always fail. They will just piss off Resident Evil fans and for people that don't play Resident Evil, don't care about Resident Evil, it's not AAA enough for them to not play. <laughs> other games that are similar genre. But this was this was when like Capcom for Resident Evil series, this is when they're almost at their darkest point guys. This is after Resident Evil 6 when they blew so much money. And this was almost at the point we got one more game to play to see the absolute lowest point before you have to take a big break and then boom Resident Evil 7 and then the hype begins again, which I'm excited to play again soon. RE7. Ethan saved Capcom. Remember, Ethan wasn't even supposed to be a character in RE7, man. You already played 5 and 6? You bet your ass we did. I played 5 co-op with Qua all the way through on Professional. It was, a, it was a hoot. No, it wasn't Professional. We played the second hardest setting. So an excuse we can play it again someday. And I played RE6 by myself because Qua ditched me. told me to kick rocks. It's already uploaded on the second YouTube channel. Holy cow, look at all these names. Yeah, both RE5 and RE6 runs are funny. The RE6, the RE6 runs got tons of memes. You're gonna see the Vesper, uh, Vesper blind memes are gonna be really funny. The dude with the crank, you got, you'll laugh so hard if you've never seen that run. <laughs> The chat was yelling at me like crazy. The chat thought I was having a stroke. Hmm. I, I hope Capcom doesn't do RE5 remake anytime soon, man. They need to go back and finish everything else off first. I don't want them to jump too ahead. I want them to really... They haven't established Wesker. And I don't think it's a good idea to just jump to RE5 when Wesker's already, like, cracked. They need to go back to RE1. Or Code Kino. Even Resident Evil Jiro has got Wesker, a little bit of Wesker in it. They need to establish Wesker. Bam. 
It's finally done, guys. What a journey, hey? Getting this game running just to experience it and, and see the game. But it's finally over. I can finally, finally flush this for good. It's over. You guys never have to see this game again. But I highly recommend you check out another playthrough on YouTube or something just so you can see what the graphics look like and the frame rate because I'm telling you, I just, this is... I do a disservice to it.